Hello, I'm back again. As you can see, I've just about reached the uh, this point, and on the way, I actually got killed. And what happened to us? I was getting doing this in the night time. They got a bit near, and a skeleton spawned and shot me off the uh, off the pathway, which was not very convenient. Fortunately, I put all my stuff away, so I didn't lose anything except for a few slabs and some fences. So. Let's just do the last bit. These two here are actually coven witches, I think, so I don't need to worry about them because they're not throwing things at me. And I am in range, so let's go and do the last few bricks. Oops, the pig just dropped down there. Do you see that? One thing I do want to do is actually avoid pigs dropping down because now I want it on the top half of this one, bottom half of this one, great, and I'll do the same here, one more there, and we can then fill in this, and we can hopefully just drop into here, I can't, brilliant, okay, so what I'm going to have to do is remove this one, and put it down on there, Yes, that'll be fine. And then we can actually put some torches in here. So let's put some torches in, which I have got. I may have to make some torches as well. So, in fact, I think I need a. Yes, we'll just do this. And I really wanted to put some fences around here, didn't I? To stop the things falling out, especially the coven witches. I need them later on. Uh, Let's put one up there. All right, and I also need a bucket to get a bucket uh, to break this ice, because I think yes, I'm going to have to go back. But in the meantime, I shall just block this off here with one fence so that the pig doesn't jump out. There we go. And I will also make this a little bit bigger, a little bit wider anyway. Three three across is a pretty good number actually quite safe allows for error mar margins of errors right there we go so I can walk back fairly quickly and get the stuff in fact what I did is I put a marker to, to when I was doing the travelling to putting down the pathway I was put a marker down so I could see where I was going to it helps right well nearly reached the chest here and I actually did manage to get another chicken a baby one oh, some seeds from the wheat oh, some another, another egg and I got there so right what do I want I want a bucket. Oh, I've only got two iron here. Let's go and get another bucket. Iron. I wanted to put this seed up here didn't I? and the egg. And I shall keep the apple because it's my almost my last food. I've got some wheat. I made some bread out of the wheat, which is also quite yeah, helpful. And another egg. Oops. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. Never mind. I don't think they'll do any harm. So I need, I think I need a pickaxe to break the ice and a bucket to take the water and some space in the inventory because in these witches places they're always something a bit uh, dangerous. In fact, while I'm here, let's make some more fences. So we need to cut down this tree. I haven't got any more um, crops crooks oh it's a big tree oh it's going to be fun to break down I won't do all of that now just as much as I can is there anything else in reach at this stage big trees are not that helpful 
me lots of wood. Oh. Right. But prevent the saplings from growing up again, so that's not such a good thing. Anyway, well, let's get on and make some more wood. 18. 18 is actually too many for the time being. Because I can't generate enough blood for that. Have I got any? I need one of these as well. Put the, put the other egg away. And with the luck, I shall be able to produce some more chickens. They, as I said before, are a good source of food. So, now, basically, one wood block is equivalent to four planks and basically four cuts on where uh, on the knife so I've got nine cuts to do here and I shall be careful not to move that away and put those in there and that should give me exactly the right amount for this amount of blood that's in there and while that's doing that let's just get some more of these saplings away Hopefully we'll get another apple. In fact, I should even be able to claim my reward. Let's have a look. My quest book. I left at the top, actually. That was... Well, they've got spares at the moment. Apples. Eat another apple. Visit it. So now I can... Oh, I've got to do this one. Breaking blood. So I need to do one wooden hoe and some bone meal. Oh well, I should be able to have bone meal, but a wooden hoe is a, a bit of a shame since I made a metal one. And we also shall get some interesting, some more gold orbreys. Quest delivery system, water bucket and three buckets of life. And then we can choose between a road bag or some golden apples. Right. So one golden hoe is simply some wood, which I don't have enough of yet, but I do have enough to make a hoe. Achievement time to farm. Okay, I think I jumped the gum on that one. Never mind. Let's have a look. Let's take the bread and eat some more bread. I'm not quite sure why bone meal is part of the quest. You see, exactly what I did here. There's exactly enough for those nine from that those nine cuts. Ah, yes, I know what's happened. There's a slight bug in this. If I come over here, I should have this heart canister, but the heart canister doesn't show up straight away. When you after you've died, so let's just put that over there for a few seconds, and let's do another. It actually has effect, but it doesn't work straight away. So let's do another nine of these. All right now, in here I've got those other pieces of wood, so we just quickly shove those into the chopped wood, and then chop put the chopped wood in here, and we should have another 36 blocks of wood and what I want to do is make some fences didn't I well it's just for sticks and it sticks like this that'll give me 20 fences I think that's probably enough what else did I want and I wanted a uh, that's at the top as well. And it's going to night time, so I won't go back there until it's daytime. So I'll have a quick sleep. Oh, and I'll show you another trick. Actually, one of the quests, the hidden quest, is to... I know the answer to it. So what you need is two... Oh, I needed to make a bucket, didn't I? I make ten iron nuggets. I want ten iron nuggets. One stick. Oh, actually, let's do this. I want two iron caps. Put the other eight nuggets away, and one stick. Makes one iron capped wand. If 
If I now go to the quest book, hopefully, eat the bread one up here. If I go back and back again, I should see one quest available. Completion, I think it's one of these. One quest available for completion. Oh no, not that one. Drowning lessons. This one. And here we have it. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I can't. As I'm at Manic. And basically, I've got to make four wood planks and I will get. Oh, have I got already wood plants? Nope. What, what happens is, uh, let's show the R now. Let's get those out of the way. Go back to quest book. And what else is this? Iron cap wand. Wood planks, manual submit. Claim reward. So now I have 10 hearts. So let's gobble those up quickly. So I have a reasonable amount of lives now, 14. I don't need the wand as far as I know, and at least not in the near future. One bucket I need to make. Right. I think that it's probably coming towards night time. So I don't want to go, oh actually I can go over there now, night time can't I? But let's just chop down the rest of this tree. I'll use dirt, because dirt's easy to chop down. Right, that should do. Where is my house there? this one. Of course the leaves don't decay until you've chopped down all the wood. So that's why I'm doing this now. If I can reach it that is. Sorry you can't. So I'll have to do a bit more climbing. Put all that wood down there. you got the last one out they just it'll just the leaves will decay quite quite quickly by themselves as long as you can see daylight you know they've gone right so let's go down here just punch the wood <laughs> punch the dirt with dirt I don't want to fall down it's a bit high that wood. This is actually a lot of wood, it's good. Look at those things, they're everywhere. Can I get up here? Nope. I can pick them up. I can't get that one. Actually maybe I can climb the ivy here. And as you can see, there's quite a lot more to sort of fall down and drop. Let's just shift that way. One of them got into my... If I 
taken out. So, so how many have we got? 30. Well, that's far too many to, to do now. Let's just uh, do about 10. 10 is a good number. Because you've got 10 hearts. By the time you finish, you get to half a heart back again. Uh, if I've got any food, that is. Let's have a look. No food at the moment. Let's put this back again and hopefully it'll register itself again. Well, I can eat a golden apple. Pick up some more wood and. Right, let's put those into here and get those started while I go and do the, the rest of this quest. Ten. Nine, ten. Is that ten or nine? Let's do another one just in case. Eat the golden apple. And put those into the hopper. Some more bits falling down all the time. There's a few more wood bits over there. Actually, I would like to, otherwise I might uh, despawn. I don't care about the sapling so much. But that looks like the last of those. Good. Right, good. Off we go and get the rest of our stuff. I need to do the pickaxe as well, didn't I? See, I put some more slabs down. Oh, sheep spawn now. Good. And hopefully they don't fall out. What have I got in here that I needed? That was for the caps. I wanted to pick out, didn't I? I think there's just enough on that one. But just to be safe, otherwise I have to do a long journey. In fact, I will actually take the sword. The wooden sword's not very useful, but just in case. As you may know, these places have witch spawners or different spawners underneath them. And usually they're angry witches, so I don't want to be uh, killed by an angry witch. this walking. Later on we shall get some more interesting means of travel. I should have got a gate, shouldn't I? Well, never mind, let's bash this one out of the way. Sacrificial life doesn't take any damage, so let's put some fences down before I do anything else. I've got another source of string there, of course. Spider webs. If I can get to those bits, which might be more difficult. Quite a fine edge there. That works nicely though. Come in, pig. nearly not quite just a few more bits now how many have I got six left oops missed try again take the axe drop that down but it is going towards night time so we do have to be careful again but the way should be fairly safe because it's um they're on half slabs there we go Yes. So now I just take the pickaxe and break the eyes. Oops. Maybe it should, oh, it's melted. So we'll need the buzz bucket. Oh, 
I also get some bits in the dispenser which is underneath. Let's try again with the bucket. Shift click, that's it. Right, let's get out of there before anything nasty happens. Now I wanted to put more fences. I wanted to put a fence behind this pig, didn't I? So if I put a fence down, he'd probably drop it. Didn't matter. I'll put one in here anyway. I can't, because he's in the way. Come out of the way, pig. <laughs> and I didn't want her to come out. Never mind. She'd probably drop off and die. No, she didn't. That was a message. In fact, I think I've come near to the end of my time for this episode. But let's go back home and then just check the quest book again. So, because we, we finished that quest, and I think that's an appropriate place to stop. Hopefully, if I've got everything right, there are no mobs down here. If there are. I'll have to stay up here for a bit until they go away. I don't see any that's good. Right. Get those out of the way, take the last of this wood. Get the get the quest book open again. Let's have a look. Right click, oh yes, that was that one. And so we're going back to Our Lady of Sorrows. And open that again, and now we've got this one. Bone meal. Do I have to make bone meal? Is that what it's trying to tell me? E. So look now if that works. Yes. So I can now claim my reward, we'll take the reward back, just because. And we shall quickly put the important things into this chest. I don't need those seeds, more gold or bris. And let's get this reward back, it's just a basic one, so I'll probably get some something useless. And when I right click this, hey, oops, wrong one. Right click the cool world bag. I've got an O minus, and if you, uh, this is actually blood groups. So the rarer the blood group, the better you get. So I got one diamond, that's nice. And let's put the diamond straight away. Away, and I haven't got any space in this chest. So let's make another one quickly. In fact, yeah, no, I've got nine steel ingots as well. That's quite good. Still, it's quite hard to make. Let's put the other chest down, say here, and get rid of this. All well, everything else I've got in here. At least I've got some more food in the form of bread. Right. Let's go and quickly eat some more bread. Let's check the quest book again. All right, this is done. Blood farms. So the next one is running red, and this unlocks two quests elsewhere, and we get so uh, another heart canister, some more buckets of life, which are good. This place, which is a book, it's fourteen Aubrey's, and what we have to do is submit ten thousand life essence to the quest delivery system. Now, 10,000 life essence. What we need to do to do that is to take the portable tank here and that holds 8,000. Then we have another two here which would give us a 10,000. And I think that's a good place to stop. And in the meantime I shall go and cut myself like crazy, get some more food going uh, to fill up this portable tank and the way I do that of course is to take these fluid ducts here plug the fluid duct on the side of the blood altar 
Now, of course, this does mess up my calculations a bit, so I have to be careful. Put one of those down there, and then put the portable tank on to it. I can have it going just like the oops, wrong way. In fact, it needs to go on the top of it. It needs to come in at the top of the thing. And I do not, as m at the moment, have a crescent hammer. Let's go and get myself a crescent hammer first. Next tusk. All right. I'll stop here, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.